Praise the Lord and welcome to Sunday Morning Christian Education. My name is Teray DeLoach. I attend Greater Bethlehem Temple Apostolic Church located on 4781 Hamilton Avenue in Cincinnati, Ohio where our senior pastor is Bishop James Chapman and our first lady is Lady Robin Chapman and where we proclaim there is a God in Bethlehem and Jesus is his name. Today's lesson is come from the book of Philemon chapter 1 verses 4 through 21 and the title is a plead for Christ-like forgiveness our golden text reads be ye kind one to another tender-hearted forgiving one another even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you and that's from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 our lesson today will deal with forgiveness and reconciliation. Insight.org says a slave named Onesimus had escaped from his owner Philemon and had ran, had ran away from Colossae to Rome in the hope that he could disappear into that populous urban environment. Once in Rome, Onesimus, either by accident or by his own design came in contact with Paul who promptly led the runaway slave to faith in Jesus Christ. Paul had already been planning to send a letter to the Colossian church by the hand of Tychicus sorry Tychicus so in AD 60 or 61 from a prison cell in Rome Paul wrote a personal letter to Philemon and sent Onesimus, the slave, back to Colossae. The letter to Philemon reminds us that God's revelation to humanity is intentionally, intensely personal. Paul made intercession through his letter for Onesimus like Jesus made intercession for us on the cross. Paul urges Philemon to forgive Onesimus and accept him back as an equal because they are both followers of Jesus and God's grace has made them partners under the new humanity that Jesus has established. We are all sinners before God who has shown us mercy and asks us to forgive others in turn. Paul could have commanded Philemon to follow instructions but he approached the issue with love. They knew each other for some time and Philemon owed Paul a great deal. Paul's inspired letter to Philemon teaches a great lesson concerning Christian love which involves concern, care, and compassion for others. It was a plea, undeserved mercy and forgiveness. Paul wrote to Philemon to encourage him to receive and accept Onesimus back as a brother in the gospel without the severe punishments that would usually be inflicted on runaway slaves, which was death. Paul even offered to make up the financial loss for anything Onesimus had stolen or taken away and had caused Philemon to suffer. He was pleading for him to be freed. Two, la two points in the lesson that I want to talk about. Number one is forgiveness. Forgiveness is a key thing. Just as God forgives us, He expects us to forgive others as we find in the Lord's Prayer. The next one is equality. Equality exists among believers in Christ. We are supposed to be one, helping each other out like family. We are to be embraced as equals, no matter our differences. Um, the Bible says dot com states, because of God's unconditional love for us, we are always in a love debt. Jesus commanded his followers to love others as he loved us. Likewise, Paul was asking Philemon to love Onesimus as he and Christ loved Philemon. Our lesson says Paul actually felt confident that Philemon would do all that Paul had asked and even more. 
Paul's ministry in asking Philemon to forgive Onesimus is a picture of the work Jesus Christ does for us with God the Father. We are like runaway slaves. God created us to be his children, but we became sinners by birth and by choice. We deserve the punishment of death for our sins, but Jesus Christ paid the debt we owe and makes intercession for us before the Father. When we, came, when we come to Christ for forgiveness of sins, Jesus asked God to receive us because of the work Christ did on the cross. God now sees us not as sinners who ran away from him, but as dear children. God is offering you new life right now. He will forgive your sin and present you to his Father to be accepted. Repent and be baptized and you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You do not have to worry that God will not take you into his family. He will receive you to himself as though you were his own son, Jesus. I hope I have put something on your mind. Until next time, God bless.